Hey everyone, Ryan here. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can connect your Shopify to Framer. So first things first, let's go into Framer and open a project. Next, we wanna to go to our CMS. Now I'm gonna to go to plugins and we're gonna open the Frameship plugin. Open this and it will prompt you to create a new collection. Now you can call this whatever you want, but for now, I'm just gonna call it my store. And let's click on create. Now the plugin will open and I can connect my Shopify. Now we need a couple of different details to sync our Shopify data. Now heads up, in the future, this is just gonna be a one click integration. But for now, and until Shopify approves us as an app, we have to do a couple of different things. So first things first, let's go to Shopify. And you can see I've got a bunch of products already set up in my store. Now the first thing we need is our live URL for our store. So let's go down to online store here and let's click on preview. And you'll notice we've got our link here. So let's just copy this link and let's go back to Framer and paste that in. And the next thing we need is a storefront API access token. So again, let's go back to Shopify. And if we just go to the search bar and go build custom apps and click on that, now what we're gonna do is create a new app. And again, we can call this whatever we want. I'm just gonna call it my Framer Connection. And we'll click on Create App. Now once that's done, you wanna click on Configure Storefront API Scopes. And here we're gonna choose what data Framer can access. Now this is really important that you do, otherwise the plugin will not work, but we need to tick Unauthenticated Riot Checkouts and as well as unauthenticated read checkouts. That's a mouthful. We need unauthenticated read product listings and unauthenticated read product inventory. Once you have those four selected, just click on save. Great, and now you can head to your API credentials. Now we're going to install this app and we'll just click on install. Great, and now it has generated a unique storefront API access token. So we'll copy that and we'll go back to Framer and we'll paste that into our plugin and we'll click on connect your Shopify store. Now, if I click on import products, it will start to input all that data. Great, and now we have all our data inside of Shopify. Now, anytime I make an update to my Shopify store, I wanna make sure that I come back to Framer here and just press on sync and we'll handle the rest. And that's all you need to do. So now if I go back to my canvas, open the Frameship plugin once again, I can start playing around with all the components and connecting them to my CMS, which is reading from Shopify. And that's how the Frameship plugin works.